Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Preeti Poghe and today we are going to talk about what is to be done uh, in the last month before the exam for part 2. So uh, specifically for part 2 candidates, uh, this is very important because as the syllabus is very vast, you should know what to do in the last month so that you score maximum and all that you have studied or all the hard work that you have put in pays off. So what you can do in the last month is uh, remember that this period is a very, very important period and um, most of the things uh, should really go right in this last month because I've seen that many candidates who have re actually studied really well uh, in the last six months or a year's time and if for some reason they cannot do well in this last month, uh, then it makes a difference in their marks. So try to keep your schedule very uh, much fixed and uh, try and uh, see that uh, things that you have already read or you have already made notes of are revised very well in this last month. So if you don't get time to read anything new, even that is okay, but try and revise the things that you have already uh, made notes of or you have already read. Because it is important that uh, the things that you have read, uh, they actually uh, help you obtain marks because if you put much time in reading new things then most of the time gets lost and the maximum amount of portion that you have already read uh, then you cannot revise it and if you don't revise it in the last month it becomes difficult uh, to answer remember that because it's a vast vast syllabus and it's very easy to get confused specifically in EMQ so, so try and revise so that's the first thing uh, second thing is I know that because uh, we all have very tight schedule and we have to work and study so it becomes difficult so try and revise when in the in between your duties try and revise while you're cooking or uh, while you're uh, relaxing right so you can just revise one or two points in your mind and uh, uh, so that uh, you I don't have to physically sit uh, all the time and keep on studying because again that is going to put in a lot of pressure uh, physically and you may fall ill so try to relax yourself also give yourself breaks and in between those breaks if you could uh, remember one or two points or uh, while you're, you're already uh, on duty and you know that there's uh, some time gap in between you can just carry a small notebook with you and um, you can just revise the points right so uh, I hope that you have all made notes from the previous uh, uh, videos that I have already made. I have told everyone to make notes, however notes are given to you uh, for, uh, you know, um, ready made, they are not going to be of that much of use as much you make them for yourself. So try and make your own notes try to make notes of all the numbers now this is the time when you will know which numbers are important because you have already read most of the syllabus remember if you have not finished the syllabus that is okay nobody can finish the part two syllabus so that's okay there is going to be some uh, areas which are not well read or there are going to be some uh, topics which are not touched but try and revise or try and read all the important topics the topics that have been asked in the previous exams so do try and uh, uh, revise those or try and read those at least the important points from uh, those topics should be known right because it's, there's a very high chance that the same topics will be repeated so uh, and again as I said try and make notes for the numbers numbers are very important so uh, make that a, a small diary or write at the back of your notebook and start making uh, notes of all the important numbers that's a very important thing because if even if you don't get time to revise it now it will help you uh, in couple of days before your exam so if you just revise the numbers again that will help you score a lot of marks uh, again very important point is that uh, see that you, all your uh, bookings are done all your packings are done uh, before the exam so that try and do that at least couple of days before the exam because you must be really tensed and uh, traveling again because we have to uh, uh, travel to the center if it is not around your place then that again last minute hustle will cause problems and uh, if uh, something goes wrong with the traveling then again that will cause a problem with uh, the exam score so try and keep yourself calm during that time and see that uh, everything goes well when you are doing the basic thing of traveling and packing and everything so carry all the important documents when you are going to the exam okay 
Um, and the last and the most important thing, uh, which I, uh, I think all of us are giving exams, uh, like from ages, since we are all doctors and we know how to give exams, how to revise, how to study. Uh, but the most important thing with part two is that uh, how much we study and how much we practice, uh, we, try, we get tensed during the time of exam. So try and sleep before uh, your exam. Even if you keep, uh, don't study the day before your exam, it will be okay. But try and have a very nice sleep uh, before the exam. Try to keep yourself calm because this is not going to change um, uh, your practice or this is not going to be something which is going to be um, a very much, uh, you know, a game changer. Uh, at least for the Indian candidates. So uh, don't worry, try and relax and give the exam uh, with uh, a le least of confusion because the EMQs tend to be very, very confusing. And uh, see that the first thing that comes to your mind in the exam, mostly when you don't know anything about the topic, the first thing that comes to your mind, mostly that is the answer. So I think that has worked with me. I don't know whether it will work with you, but try, uh, try that when you're giving your mock test, when you're giving your test series. So try and solve. Uh, or join the mock tests or test series as much as possible. So, uh, so that will give you an idea of uh, how you're going about it, okay? And whatever the score in the mock tests and the test series, don't worry about that. That is just for uh, the sake of keeping you in practice. So not necessary that the same questions will come, right? So uh, with all these things, I hope that I have given you this, like the last minute tip and keep yourself uh, very, very in a calm mode and um, in a happy mode, try to keep avoid the problems, um, uh, uh, try to avoid uh, traveling in this time so that um, you, your, your schedule is very much fixed. And uh, I hope this video helps you. If you have doubts uh, relating to part two uh, exam, if you have doubts relating to how to study in the last uh, time or what all topics are important, you can ask me in the comments box or I'll also send you the link for uh, my telegram group uh, which is also for free and there are also courses that are run. So uh, let me know if this video was helpful. Thank you very much.